Okay. I never talk about what I want to do after college. And that's a weird thing, you know? I've really worked hard to create a YouTube channel where I could pretty much upload what I want and people follow suit, you know? It's a really fucking cool thing to be able to say, hey, I, I'm i just going to sing for people on the street and get 500,000 views and have people really fuck with the message. And my message is typically in every single video, I just like singing for people and making people happy. Ever since I was like a kid, um, I realized that through like public speaking or through entertaining people, I can make them laugh and I can make them feel good and I can make them feel sad and I can I can give people energy in such a cool way and that was always something I valued and I'm really happy I made a channel based around that, you know? And music is never going to leave me, right? I, l I would like to believe that. I, I, I would like to think that I'm only going to get better at music as time goes along and you've seen that through my streams, you've seen that through my improvement in singing and all this stuff, right? So... That gets to what I want to do when I'm 26 to 29, you know, or to 30. And it's going to sound really weird, but I have this this absurd dream. Um, and I watch, like, a lot of mountain bike YouTubers, like the single track sampler, who's, you know, his name is Alex, and I, I love his stuff, and Seth's Bike Hacks, and both of them mainly are my favorite mountain bike YouTubers, right? And... What I've noticed from them is they just they, they, they go and they live all across America and they do what they want to do and it all comes down to how they do that and it's through a van. And that sounds really weird, but as a marketing student, and I'm sorry, it'll all tie in, it's kind of weird. As a marketing student, I realize that you can't really do something conventionally, right? Like I want to be a musician, but I also want to help musicians and I want to... I want to show people that you don't have to do it the normal way. You know, there's no fucking route. There's no traditional. There's no this. There's no that, right? So what I want to do is I want to make a, a really sick-ass sprinter van. And I've learned a lot of skills, whether it be through my studio or I used to do roofing or carpentry, um, woodworking. You know, I've learned a lot of skills so that when I do finish college, I'm going to sell my Prius and I'm going to buy a badass van I'm gonna make it so that I can street perform all around America and I'm also gonna mountain bike as I'm doing that you know I really want to go and see a lot of different trails and be more in nature because as someone who lives in California and is just so busy and doesn't have a lot of friends that go and do crazy nature shit it's been really hard for me to like be like yo I'm gonna go you know to Sedona randomly one weekend by myself in my Prius you know I want to get a van, go across the, the country and do live streams and make content of music reactions and write a book while I'm doing this on how it is to street perform and be a musician in different cities across America going there fresh with no connections. And during that time, I want to meet people and I want to hang out with people and I want to meet my viewers and meet my fans and do little shows here and there so that I can start getting out to you guys. Because a lot of you are like, where the fuck are the shows and stuff? And I know this is, this sounds crazy, right? Like, it just sounds insane, but that's just something I've wanted to do for so long. Like, I've been wanting to do, like, a van trip across America for six to, six months to a year since I was 20. And I don't know, I really want to do that. And if you guys want to see a cool person who does it, go look up Single Track Sampler and Seth Spike Hacks, who helped him to make a van. I've been watching the videos for uh, like a few years, but um, then I started off mountain biking, and then I started watching their van life videos, and it just it showed me a whole new way to live, you know. And it's pretty cool. So I'd re I'd h highly recommend them, and I'd like to know your thoughts on this. So let me know.